stranger. Surprise, surprise, game deck. Sure. The character came alive as I approached. <clears throat> Excuse me. I summoned Kohlberg. I had examined that someone revealed an encrypted message in this impact. It was information on how to get to the expanse. Cold green, yellow, green. So, green, yellow, green. It's the expanse. What is that? One of the simulation's impacts. It seems Eleanor downloaded him from the impact re repository and embedded him and embedded a hemp in him for you. Why didn't she embed it? Why did she? Why didn't she embed the hint in you? I'm guessing she's got the information for safety reasons. A large amount of information in one place could be intercepted and then deleted or modified. That sort of precaution makes sense. I trust you will fight, Eleanor, despite your, despite your difficulties. Alright, let's go back. So it's green, yellow, green. Oh, the car! The long straight road led to the horizon. I couldn't see where it ended. It vanished into the airy landscape. The road here was divided by a weird, weird, by a wide crevice. You reached the expanse. Excellent. I do not want you to collect an item here that would help you unlock the domination mode in the coal breakers. Maybe it's somewhere nearby. Obviously, it's the car. Oh, maybe there's the clue. Chasm. Black footprints led from the car to the abyss. They ended there. The road was cut off with a wide crevice. I couldn't see the bottom. From my experience, it just wasn't there. The vehicle has been imported from game. I guess from Twisted and Perverted. Look under the car. There was a few black puddles. They looked like they were alive. I reached out with my hand. The stains, the stains behaved like ferrofluid. Sticky nodules examined through my fingers. It was a typical gra graphic representation of a breach firewall. Naturally, no barrier was here because it didn't really look like that. Sometimes game engines toggled an option which showed if someone was messing with the safeguard. It showed up as these stains. Everything suggested that someone had breached the firewall protecting this car. Next. What can you tell me about this car? This is my vehicle. I imported it from another game. I went to cross the expanse with it. I don't know if if I meant Eleanor made it. I hope she made it. There's only one way to find out. Crossing the expanse and reaching the fringe. Inside the car there might be an, Id an item that will let you unlock the Code Breaker's domination mode. Open the car. I reached for the handle but immediately gave up. The windows, the, the windows, doors, flaps and tires all made up a uniform object with no movements. I'm listening, game deck. Domination gave us red. Analysis need blue. Okay. Um, and get access to the car. From what I managed to observe, the code burgers modified a few parameters of the car's code. 
I think I deleted the parameter that detected collisions with moving objects. My hands could now penetrate the car's interior, look under the seat. There was a sheet of paper. I take it out and uncrumpled it. Paper used to be so pileable. Someone had written something on it. Want to find the gallery? Looking for inspiration. Your impatience and optimism will help you find it. Start the car. I turn the key into ignition. The combustion engine creaks and lets, out, and lets out a few jolts, but didn't start. I only managed to turn on the headlights. They gave off a faint light. Something flashed at the edge of the chasm. A small light started blanking on the passenger side, revealing the glove box. I had noticed it before. Search. What do we have here? Rings, wigs, leather gloves, lipstick, a hand mirror, a pistol. Heavy, made of metal, real, whatever that means here. We got the gun in the glove box. It was a Fenris MK. The second, a decent piece from TNP. I reached for the grip when something dawned on me. Laying there with all the jump, a gun should have been scratches on its a gun should have had scratches on its breech block. Grazes are print, considering someone put it there. This hand cannon looked to be in mint condition. I got the impression it was floating, not touching anything. Was it a trick? Take the gun. I reached out for the pistol. As soon as I touched this grip, a sharp pain shot through my hand and wrist. That piece was a track crap was a trap program come on why would they do something like that i earned the red aspect and that was probably what this was all about when my avatar stalling started falling apart i summoned the code breaker with my mind and something happened as if it were observing the aspect i had earned was i becoming delirious the unpleasant sensation subsided i examined the code breaker it emitted a red light acting like it was searching for a target to destroy You can now call the path using red colors. That opens up a lot of new possibilities. Consider that. Analysis more requires the blue aspect. Detailed information. Unfortunately, I don't know where it is. The path to the fringe begins with the color blue. So, fringe path begins with blue. Therefore, you need to obtain the blue aspect of the cold breaker. Unfortunately, I did not know the sequence that was taken there. Eleanor stored in the memory of impact. You can try locating them. I'll find a way. Anything? No. And see you later. Car. Search. The car's headlights reveal something hanging over the abyss. Was it some glitch? Take a closer look. It looks like a flickering window. Through the window, I could see scenes from different virtualia. A pile of pumpkins in harvest time. A moonlit bridge in night's cold. A guy in a kinky suit running in place, probably twisted and perverted. Using the coal breaker, I could try to hold on to one of those scenes for longer. Maybe it would interact with the local world. Harvest time. Let's try twisted and perverted. Started doing something that went beyond my abilities. It probably patched the code, as an ignition, as an ignorant person might say. It didn't work out. The poor bastard must have been surprised. Harvest time? I wonder what the code breaker did when connecting the game to the creative program. Did I just try to blend one with the other? I want to try something else. Night's cold. Then I leave the code breakers repeatedly. I just gave it artists. What exactly was I doing? I had no idea. It was a bridge and it fit. A glitch disappeared without a trace. Chasm. Did we get anything new though? Nope. 
they don't have much. Welcome to my domain. <sighs> Freaking jester. Why do I still find why do I still find people being surprised so surprising? Your name is Stephanie Bennett. This time I'll feign being surprised, but your but your surprise is obviously real. Ugh, real. Yes, I am surprised by this meeting. I received a report of an intruder from the Axis Mundi system. What are you doing here? The wrinkles around the fool's eyes form part of a nasty smile, but the look itself is glazed and dispassionate. How about you first explain what happened during our last meeting? Remember the Tree of Knowing? You should remember that event. It's an error. So it's the intent of a good relationship. Can we agree that it never happened? This will make things much simpler. Nope. You're, you answer my question would do a good but do a lot towards improving our relationship. What happened there? Hmm. You encountered an, anom an anomaly called 314. I'm trying to eliminate it, which is difficult as I can detect it. Only brain users can. It infected you, not just you in fact. I interrupted the process because I, because I wanted to examine it in its pure state. But from what I was able to read, it didn't manage to unpack in your head, but I can't be sure. The human psyche can be unpredictable. I don't know if it's if that anomaly is presenting I don't know if that anomaly is presently influencing you, which makes me doubt if I can trust you with any more information. And now to get back to my question, what are you doing here? I'm looking for a certain indigenous. Her name is Eleanor. Do you know where I can find her? I do. Why are you looking for her? I'm doing a job for our director, Haggis. Haggis, put you on this path. A very curious development. Let's alive in the place. Is teamwork acceptable? I'll help you reach Eleanor and ask a favor in return. Not at all. I won't be your errand girl. Pity. I have nothing more to say to you. Invoke the cycle scan. Let me introduce you to someone. So you put her here. So she brought you here. Clever. Jester. AI maintaining order in the simulation. What an unfortunate meeting. The Dijonets a system error that threatens the stability of this world and the entire simulation. Be careful. Don't let her manipulate you. Beware of Jester game deck. He wants to remove us from this equation, you and me. Let's talk alone. Shoot him. Time to test the new functions. Impressing program. Are you trying to? I'll even try to laugh. Jester smiles, showing his teeth. A hissing sound escapes his throat. That was his laugh. For a moment, I could hear its echo linger in the breach. Jester disappeared. What was it? What was it? What was it? Gatekeeper. Jester the gatekeeper. He decides the fate of the people here. It felt like the road went on forever. I wanna, we need to go back. Don't know why, but I do feel like we need to go back. Oh, we can't go back. Interesting. can't go that far. Road. Summon the Vigos. I issued a mental, com a mental command summoning the Dijonet Vigos. You've met Jester. He's the, on he's the one thing Eleanor wishes to avoid at all costs. Tell me whose side are you on? His or this hers or this terrible Jester? I don't like the I don't like to take sides. A game that's collected 
some data before passing judgment. I prefer not to take sides for now. I see. Your answer will become apparent through your actions. Coburger and I will continue to serve regardless of your intentions. I went ahead. Roads seem to lead to infinity. I made my way across the expanse, but in front of me there was an inner, an entrance to a labyrinth. Was that my destination? Red, yellow, green. Let's do... We need blue for the tree, don't we? Let's do red, red, red. Oh, freaking horse. Again, red, 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 Jester. I hate that. Welcome to my game, my domain game deck. Let's talk. I have nothing to tell you at the moment, but if you were to help me, I'd become an open book. You had a job for me, right? You have a problem in Exit Mundi, a problem with doors, breaches, and cracks leading to sensory worlds. I'm having trouble patching those. Can you handle it? You say you're having troubles patching these breaches. Can you elaborate on them? It's a headache that comes back every now and then with new safeguards, but I'm not sure I'll be able to patch in the, op patch in the optim optimal time. And why do you think I'll be able to crack these safeguards? Because for some reason you seem to be able to deal with them. The black substances you went through it has a similar cold. Refuse. Not happening, Jester. That's the second time you've refused me. I'm not going to ask you again. Sorry. I have to delete you from the system. the firewall not much of a defense I won't beat you but I can slow you down wake up game day wake oh a familiar plate of course son of a gun let's talk did he just kill us out of my death my avatar responds in the same place he did Game editor, Dijonet, Trap World, Haggis Experiments. We don't have any more. Oh no, what's the simulation cycles? Anywhere from a few weeks to a few months, and with the resets. French begins to be blue. We don't have blue yet. Cross the blue, give it the information on the world. Ask about Jester. I met Jester. I met Jester. Tell me more about him. He found you. That's not good. Jester is an AI created to control virtualia, but it's more than that. inhuman eccentric dangerous he wants to get rid of me i don't know why he's a psychopath i'm afraid of him are you sure jester is an artificial intelligence if he's human then he's devoid of any human trait i have more empathy in my code than he could ever have origin have organically i bet he's a program it seems to have that ele it seems to me that eleanor saw him once for a fraction of a second in this place in many places at once 
Every program has a function with gestures. He was a human. He has a human form. He is capable of interacting with humans and posing as one, meaning that one of his functions is human communication. Maybe I'm able to talk to people playing the games created by Axis Mundi, I'm able to talk to his creators. Another function is to oversee consistency between Axis Mundi and the programs under his control. He acts as an overseer, making sure that everything goes according to the planned scenarios, and he takes out the trash. What, do you, what does that mean that Jester takes out the trash? He deletes any, everything incompatible with a, with a location or scenario. If he can't delete something, he creates situations to cover it up. It's like a sci-fi crime scene. Someone is killed supernaturally, so Jester concocts situations where everything appears natural. Axis Moody is in a world where he would have to work hard to come up with a scenario to get rid of me. I'm just a piece of trash. What else does he do? I think he also in the animates various events as occasion, pulls the strings. Sometimes he doesn't even bother concealing his weird avatar. I'm talking about sensory worlds, I think. I'm not sure, but it would be on brand for him, a puppet master, if he had free will, that is. But he doesn't have free will. Then he will be human, and he is not human. Alright. End. Um, back to the pedestal. I'm listening, game deck. Nope. And let's go. Green. We did red, 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 which is Jester. So let's do green, red, yellow. Green, red, yellow. Instant death. Look like a mirror. That just aggravated. Ugh. Let's talk. Do you know anything of. Oh, nothing. Alright, so that's not it. Let's do. No green, red, yellow. Let's do. Red, yellow, red. Red, yellow, red. Oh, is this the Han clan crap? That's what it looks like. Breach. I saw a breach in space hovering. It looks as if it was made of clothes. Though I could glimpse the landscape of night's cold. As I looked closer, the window vibrated. I felt a gust of wind. There was a rustle of pages from the book line on the lectern. Look through the window. I saw a large enlightenment's private chambers. Further down there was a window going out to the courtyard of the high plains stronghold. Lord found the breach I was looking through. He faced the breach I was looking through, engaged in a lively discussion with a person I couldn't see. Eavesdrop. Lord was mad. He was speaking in a raised voice. Umbra. I say, I say again, you're using cheats. Eventually the admins will notice. Besides, I wasn't fond of this prison I did to begin with. 
This is the only way for us to achieve dis the, the achieve discipline. And besides, is recording their suffering, thoughts and memories supposed to elicit discipline? Umbra, you're a sadist. You're a sadist who who reveals in these recordings. Nice code doesn't have such functionality. It's dangerous. I demand you get rid of those goddamn cheats. I need... I don't want to do that without analysis. Uh, tree of knowing. Some of the inside of a tree of knowing. Aspects. Uh, right. Reaching into virtual, yeah. Keep listening. I see we're laying our cross on the table, old boy. Fine. I close down the prison. Will you stop abusing the outrangers, Captain's hubby? You viper. You know full well was the master the master of laughter's idea, not mine. And you couldn't stand up to him. You didn't have the strength to li to live on your own terms. But I do, you see. Yes, I am a sadist. I love. Shut up. Shut up. I can't listen to this. So everything stays like it was. Very well then. I really don't want to go through that. Can we leave and come back? Yeah, we'll come back once we have. Blue. So we'll we have to go back. And then to the tree we have to go back. Oh, what's next? Um, let's do red, green, red, then red, green, red. Red, green, red. Where is this? Oh, this is another breach. The window looked similar to a previously encountered anomaly. This time I saw a section of the street and twisted and perverted. So, reach. The surface of the breach was vibrating, vibrating, crackling with electricity, which I heard over the whirling of a car engine behind it. Oh, we gotta go back, leave. I'm not, I need to, I wanna check all of this first before we do anything. So go back. Then I think, honestly, I think this will be a great place to end it. When we come back, we will try more configurations to finally, hopefully, get the blue. And then, hopefully, figure out what's going on here. Did anything else? Nope. The expanse we know is green, yellow, green, and then this is green, green, green. But 
but let's do this really quick. What I need is the actual blue. Can we? Oh, we need more blue. Alright, now let's look at this before we end it here. What is X Moon? Do we do know where the surroundings resemble the inside of the tree of knowing? The kill breaker is the key that opens the path. Jester is the gatekeeper. Death and after the death we always respawn. And the Lambert has a mechanics based on the so called aspects. So I think it's either a trap world or I think it's a trap world actually or the game by the Diginet. But we also have what does the simulation contain? So we know it the work of BWI Corporation. There are breaches in the access moon that lead to other sensory worlds. I died. So how am I life here in simulation cycles? So it seems to me the so-called simulation affects everything. Games and really in my light on an access moon D. See, that's the thing. I honestly don't know if we died because I don't believe that we were actu actually ever outside the tree of knowing. So us going into the game pipe was still not real. We're technically still at home in our game pod from the the fall no the Night's Cold quest. Yeah, could we do that from home? So it's either only access moon deep, but I'm We'll see. Either way, this is a great place to end it. Thank you, everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic time and see you soon.